Hello everybody, welcome back to Do Reviews, collection video. I know I already did one if you saw it, I deleted it because I was really not pleased with the way it turned out. I forgot to include a number of Mountain Dew items that I had. So I will be redoing it now that I'm completely organized. I got everything like looking good in here. I just need a display case for like all my bottles and cans, but I do have a pretty nice setup for where they are right now. We'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, that's like the only thing I don't have is my display case. So I'm just gonna be going over every Mountain Dew item that I own, all Mountain Dew stuff. I got some new stuff since then, so that's good. And if you do want to stick to the end, I will be doing like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, other cool collectible items that I have. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into my Mountain Dew collection. Okay, so first off, I want to say none of this stuff is empty. Everything I have in my collection is full. I have a certain spot for all the empty stuff. But anyway, let's get into the regular Mountain Dew stuff like the Mountain Dew regular the diet mountain dew the zero sugar the variations of the regular bottles and cans so here it is first off i have a georgia loves mountain dew 16 ounce mountain dew can exclusive to georgia i have a regular mountain dew can a regular 16 ounce mountain dew can a regular mountain dew bottle call of duty vanguard mountain dew bottle a mountain dew chapstick over here a uh, call of duty cold war Black Ops Mountain Dew can. And over here I have a two liter Diet Mountain Dew, a two liter regular Mountain Dew, a 1.2 liter Mountain Dew, the Tennessee Mountain Dew bottle exclusive to um, Tennessee. I also have some of these, a, what is this? A uh, 16 ounce bottle with a six pack of that. And over here, I have some of my weird Mountain Dew stuff like the Zero Sugar Mountain Dew, a new label Zero Sugar Mountain Dew, a weird, weird little bottle Mountain Dew, the another Tennessee Mountain Dew, a Pepcoin Mountain Dew with the label faded out, and then I have this weird West Virginian Mountain Dew, USA on top. That one's really weird. I've never seen that ever since. And then this little mini Mountain Dew ball, not the same size as like the regular Mountain Dew bottle. Let me show you. See how it's like a little bit smaller than that one? So that one's pretty neat. And now let's get into my um, flavors that I have. So starting it off here with Mountain Dew Real Sugar. This is one of my favorites. I really like the can design for this one. Here it is, it's a pretty neat can. It's like throwback Mountain Dew, reminds me of the old time Mountain Dew look. So that one is pretty neat. And then I got the Flamin' Hot 20 ounce, um, limited edition Flamin' Hot at Kroger. I have the 12 ounce can here. Do a little spin of that, that one's pretty neat. And then I have the 16 ounce Dew Store exclusive Flamin' Hot. Yeah, this can is pretty cool, full. Put that one back down there. And then I got the Code Red, just the old Code Red bottle. I do not have the new design Code Red. I don't know why I have an old design Code Red bottle. And then I have another Code Red here, the new design. I don't have a new design bottle. I don't know why. But then over here I have Typhoon, the 2022 Dew Store exclusive. Um, originally made in 2012, I think, um, Typhoon discontinued, but they still make some of this. I think they still have some available. Um, I would recommend trying it. It's pretty cool. It's like $12 or something on the Dew store for a six pack of this. Pretty good. Um, moving on, I have Merry Mashup. I don't have a can of Merry Mashup, sadly, but this was a 20, 2021 holiday limited edition flavor. It was pretty good, or no, 2019, 2019, or no, 2020, I'm getting all mixed up, sorry, it's super hot in here, but 2020 um, holiday limited edition flavor, it's on like pomegranate flavor, it's pretty neat, and then I have Major Melon, uh, Major Melon regular can, I have the Zero Sugar Major Melon, I do not have a can of it though. And then over here we have the new Livewire design. Sadly, I don't have any of the cans of Livewire. They're super hard to find, but there's the new design. 
here's the old design i do like the old design a lot better so there's that and then i have full can johnson city gold the thing about this one is let me see here good angle so it has it right there the label there and then the label here as well so it's like a two-sided label thing so that one is really neat that's my favorite ever flavor sorry for the weird camera angles i'm like on the ground because like as you can see it's like on the ground here but yeah it'll have to do so there's that um limited edition 2012 to 2013 not too many of them were made i don't think because it's really hard to find available online anywhere but moving on i have the baja mango gem the new 2022 baja series exclusive tastes like mango i have the can there too and next to it i have the baja punch 2021 limited baja series and there's the bottle of it too so this is weird i have the limited edition spark mountain dew bottle but i do not have a regular spark bottle i don't know why but yeah i have this one and then i have the regular spark can here so that one is pretty neat i do not like spark that much i will be doing comparison of the regular spark compared to the limited edition one and then over here i have the 16 ounce limited edition maui burst they discontinued it it's only exclusive to Dollar General, so I'm really lucky I got a 16-ounce can because I used to drink those a lot because I really liked it. And then they made the 20-ounce bottles, which is really cool. I really liked the, the design on this one. It's like a beachy, kind of like Hawaiian vibe. Really cool. I really like that flavor. And then over here, we have the 2022 Baja Gold, another series from the Bajas. Uh, Baja series so here's this one there's the can now over next to it, I have the 2021 Baja flash really cool another Baja series so it's really cool the Baja series is one of my favorite because they actually have like so many of them now they have like six different ones which is cool and then down here I have the cake smash this was originally planned to be in 20 ounce bottles but that idea got scrapped and here it is in the 16 ounce. It was only available to the Deuce store exclusive, which made people kind of mad because they couldn't get it anywhere else. But that's just how it is. And it has a little thing on the back of it here, which is really neat. I like this one. I do not like the flavor. At first when I had it, the flavor was pretty good. But now I hate it. I, I can't stand it. But anyway, moving on to the Voltage. Once again, I really do like the old logo better than the new logo. So here's this one, the old one. And then the new ba I mean the new Voltage logo. And then down here I have the old Voltage can and the new Voltage can. So yeah, I do like the old one better. And then moving on, 2019 new Mountain Dew Frostbite. So this is per I'd say this is new because it was only like a couple years ago that it came out. And it's exclusive to Walmart. Um, I really like this one a lot. I haven't had it in a while. Then down here, I have the can. So that's pretty neat. Then up here, I have one of my favorites of all time. Mountain Dew Liberty Brew. 2019 exclusive limited um, 4th of July flavor. Then down here, I have the can. And then I have the can with the new label on it. And then moving on, I have the 2019 Baja bottle. It says enter to win 100k in daily prizes and this is smaller the dew is smaller and then this one it is bigger so this is the 2022 bottle um yeah there's a couple differences on there and then down here the old baja can i do love the old baja can better than this new one so that's pretty cool this has a long long history to it people trying to knock it off my shelf it falling from five feet so i'm very surprised that it made it here like still full but it is very dented from all the hooligans that tried to knock it down over the years you know who you are if you're watching this and then moving on to the do sa another um limited edition fourth of july flavor that we got this year so that one was pretty cool 2021 edition um, there's the bottle of it so it is pretty cool I do like this one quite a bit I still have a couple of them saved and then moving on to the Mountain Dew Purple Thunder Circle K exclusive 
Um, I don't have the Canadian cans yet because they just released it in Canada too, which is pretty neat. So I'm hoping to get those sometime soon. And then moving on, we have the Japanese exclusive um, violet flavor only found in some vending machines in Japan. It's got a pretty cool top to it. It's really weird. Um, here it is. Here's the back of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite designs because of how, how the top is like paintball. And then over here we have Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Same thing with the Johnson City Gold, how the label is like here and here, which I think is really cool. So that's neat that I got this. I got a couple of these. And then same thing here with the whiteout. It's like the two, two logo on it. I just made my Mountain Dew whiteout review video. So that's pretty cool. I also have the whiteout in the 20 ounce bottle and a whiteout chapstick. And now moving on, I have the gingerbread snapped. Um, there it is, the gingerbread snapped um, 2021. Yeah, 2021 holiday exclusive. And then I have the limited edition 2020 Voodoo. Um, there's the bottle up there, the 2020 Voodoo edition. That one was Skittle. Yeah, Skittles. Um, I made a review on that. And then here's the 2021 one. Made a review on that. That's like Fruit Chew. There it is. And that wraps it up for all of my bottles and cans stuff. Um, let me show you up here some of my favorite empty cans. I have some USA, a lot of Liberty Brew, uh, old faded out Diet Mountain Dew, and then just some of my favorite cans and such up here. And that wraps it up for my cans and bottles. Moving on to my old bottles and such. So here is all my old bottles. I'm just going to do like a little scan of these here. I got an old can here too. I like that can a lot. One of my favorites is this long neck Mountain Dew bottle. So that's pretty neat. But there's all that. I also have a pretty neat Mountain Dew sign up there. This one is very, very valuable. See how the pig is laughing on it and all the other ones it is not. And this is full too. I still have it full sealed. So that one's pretty valuable, really cool. And then some more full bottles I have here. This one has a red thing on it. Mountain Dew Dew Crew. That's a pretty cool bottle too. That one's full. Um, also up here, I have some Mountain Dew lip balms. So that's pretty neat. And then down here, I have an electric Mountain Dew sign. It is light up, but I don't have electric in here. So I can't show you what it looks like lit up sadly. But moving on down here, I have some more really old Mountain Dew stuff, some Mountain Dew bottles here. So this one is really cool. Oh man, Whew. that scared me. Gotta be more careful. And then I have another old Mountain Dew bottle. I have two of these, so that's pretty neat. And then one of my favorites, the Mountain Dew Half Liter. This one's full, 25% uh, more Mountain Dew. I think it's raining out. Sorry if you can hear the rain. Uh, it is a tin roof, so it's kind of hard, easy to hear stuff. But yeah, there's that. And then I have, whoa, it's, wait, look at that. It's like fogged up inside there. That's pretty weird. But yeah, then I have this one. This is pretty cool, 48 ounce Mountain Dew bottle. So I like that one a lot. And then I have Mountain Dew Buckshot. So this was a Canadian exclusive promo for a game. I, it comes with a little can, but I did not get the little can, sadly, but let me show you this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mountain Dew Buckshot Yahoo. So that's pretty neat. And over here, I have a 16 ounce pack. I am going to be filling that up. I'm so first I'm working on filling up this one here. I already got one in, so that's pretty neat. And then I have this newer version of the Mountain Dew glass bottles. All these are empty, but yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then that wraps it up for my old Mountain Dew stuff. I also have this old Mountain Dew shirt. So yeah, that wraps up for my old Mountain Dew stuff, yeah. Moving on to my aluminum series. I have some green label art, some others here. So here's all the ones that I have. Most of them are full, some of them aren't. This one got dented in the moving process. Pretty sad about that and is full too. But yeah, that's my um aluminum series bottles. So that's pretty neat. 
Now moving on to 16 ounce cans. I do have the Rise cans too, so I think that's pretty neat because they changed the name to Energy. So glad I have those. And then I have an amp and then some of my game fuels, kick starts over here. All these are full too, a little explodey, Maui burst. But yeah, there's all my kick starts and such. I'm now moving on to the Mountain Dew clothes stuff that I So have. I have this Mountain Dew shirt up here too, which is pretty cool. I have that Mountain Dew sweatshirt, this Mountain Dew shirt, funny Mountain Dew thing, and then this Mountain Dew shirt, and then up, 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 up. Okay, here I have Mountain Dew racing kind of shirt, so that's pretty neat. Moving on to my drinking stash. This is all for drinking. I got a lot of different stuff in here. I got some Liberty Brews, a lot of Baja stuff. I'm probably never gonna drink this stuff only on like rare occasions because I have some. I just really like the regular Mountain Dew, like Baja and Liberty Brew. But yeah, that's my drinking stash. I also have some stuff I'm saving over here. Yeah, so there's that. Now, moving on to over here, my Mountain Dew boxes and stuff. Got that little Mountain Dew mini fridge, Mountain Dew Pitch Black 2 race car bank box, the Mountain Dew box, the Call of Duty 24 pack box, and then all these are filled up with empty cans and such. Over here, this is pretty neat. This is the Mountain Dew got for my birthday. So that's pretty neat. I really like this one. That one's really cool. And then up here, I have the Mountain Dew Bank car. It is the, um, it, it does go with that box that you saw down there. So that's pretty cool. I got a duplicate bottle, not in the greatest condition. And then here I have the um, Mountain Dew Typhoon card. It does say stuff on the back of it. Yeah, it says ride the tropical wave, just some other stuff up there too. And then I have my limited edition collector's box cake smash. Same thing with this. Some Mountain Dew swag. Pretty cool stuff on this shelf. And then over here I have the Mountain Dew stands. I got this Baja stand. Pretty neat. I still need the top of it though. Sadly they did not have it with it. But I am filling it up with some of my empty Baja stuff too. And then over here, I have the Major Melon Stand, the new Major Melon Stand with some of my empty stuff on there. I'm filling that up. Got the empty whiteout bottle. And then that's the end of that part. I think, yeah, that's the end of this part. So, yeah. Moving on to, like, my little Mountain Dew signs and stuff that I got from Dollar Generals and such. Yeah, there's all the ones of that that I got. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I think that really wraps up everything of Mountain Dew that I have. So, yeah, that's pretty much my Mountain Dew collection. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, yeah, I have one more Mountain Dew thing over here. Um, a Get Vertical Mountain Dew cup along with the Witch Witch cup. So that's pretty neat. But, yeah, that pretty much wraps up all my Mountain Dew collection. So, um, stick with me. I am going to show you some cool Pepsi stuff and, like, Coca-Cola stuff I have. So, yeah, that's that. Moving on to the Pepsi stuff. I found this in Tennessee. So it's this old, like, Pepsi bottle. I did find another one in the place that we live. So, that's pretty neat. And then this old, like, Pepsi-Cola thing. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. My dad had that. He had these, too. Oh, no, this got dented. There we go. Uh, Michael Jackson tour Pepsi can that same one that is this one's a little bit full too So there's that I also have this super rare to like really really valuable vintage Pepsi bottle here green Pepsi So that one is really valuable Really cool and then over here my coke stuff this thing. I drank I got some dr. Pepper stuff <coughs> <coughs> Really old Coca-Cola bottle, as you can see, it says Coca-Cola up there. So that is really cool. Um, Coke is it. Um, cool bottle I got. So commemorative bottle. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the Kentucky Derby 1983 bottle. So that's pretty cool. Move this back over there. Looking good. And then I have a can of new Coke. Not the weird one that the, not the weird one, new one. Like, the, I heard they remade this, but this is the actual old one. 
so it's worth some money then i just have this old coke um old coke can here too i never seen one um one of my friends gave that to me so that one's pretty neat um yeah so that's all of my coke and pepsi collection items um and then I have a couple more collection items I want to show. I have this autographed picture of Gilligan from Gilligan's Island, Bob Denver. So that's pretty cool. And then a picture of Barney and Andy from the Andy Griffith Show. And then an autographed picture of Clint Howard from the Ice Cream Man. So that's really cool that I got that. Um, so yeah, and then I have some more like weird cans and stuff up there that I got. Some energy drink stuff. And so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all my collection. Um, yeah, that's all that there is here. Pretty cool. I just have some, like, random collection stuff in here, too. But, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more do reviews. Also, if you made it this far in the video and you would like to see me do a vacation vlog this weekend, I will be doing that. So, yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that if you want to. Um, that's it. Peace.